Okay, guys, so uh, welcome back to NSK TV and welcome back to another Entertainer Spotlight. Today, I am with Leona. Leona, thank you so much for being on NSK TV. No yeah. problem. I love it. I still say that one of the best Facebook lives that we've done so far was your karaoke. I loved it. You just got all of your family singing along and it was so yeah. much fun. Honestly, it was so much fun. When I saw it, I was like, how is Leona going to do karaoke on a Facebook Live? And I was like, this is awesome. There we go. <laughs> it was Good brilliant. improv. <laughs> it was brilliant. It was brilliant. Now, I want to find out all about you. Because you've been with us now, probably coming up on a year, I'd say. Is that about right? Was Over it? a year now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, wow, wow. Time flies when you're having fun. Um, exactly. But you've done an <laughs> awful lot. Uh, outside of working with us, You've you've done an yeah. awful lot. I mean, obviously, you you. Am I right in saying that you're also a manager of a nursery as well? Is that right? I am. I am. I do run a nursery. I'm, I come from an early years background. Um, been in early years for like twelve, thirteen years now. So um, mm -hmm. it's something that I've just got a passion for. Really working with the little ones. Fantastic. And where did that come from? Is that like? Um, uh, was that something you wanted to do as a child, or, or what made you well, my dad was a, Well, my dad was a teacher, um, and I think I didn't initially like say, oh, I want to get into childcare. I think it was something I gradually just managed to get a job um, in a nursery, and then I just grew from there. I just loved it and loved, you know, nurturing the children and being there for them, you know, and providing that care. Oh, that's brilliant. And so uh, here's a question for you. How do you find, because obviously you're relatively new to entertaining children, aren't you? Um, yeah. Having, I mean, relatively new, you've been with NSK for over a year, but you wouldn't really do much, you didn't really do much in the way of children's entertainment before joining us, is that fair to say? Not much uh, of it, no, yeah. Yeah, so here's the question for you. Is it very different entertaining children to sort of educating them and caring for them? And, uh, you know, mm -hmm. is, is there a difference? Not really, because I am technically, I, I remember when I first started wanting to do the children's entertaining, especially, it was because a parent turned around and said, oh my gosh, you, you're like a clown. And I was like, huh? You know, a clown? How could you call me a clown? But then I actually realised what she meant because we were waiting for the school bus to come back. It, they went on a trip to the zoo. I just started chatting with them and cracking some jokes. And then she was like, you're really good at this. And then from there, it just sort of, you know, grew. Um, and I just, just developed a liking for it. But it's not much different because I clown around in the nursery and I clown around out the nursery. So really, it's no <laughs> different. <laughs> That's brilliant. And what would you say? Um, okay, so here's, here's a question for you. A lot of that, and this is something that you're probably very uniquely qualified to deal with. There's a lot of parents that are finding themselves in a situation where they're locked in their house and yeah. they've got a young child, they've got an early years child. And mm -hmm. what advice would you give them? Because they're suddenly thrust into the role of, you know, sort of teacher. Um, and, and obviously with your experience, in, uh, what, what advice would you give people? Because there's a lot of parents that are stressing out about this. Oh my gosh, I've got to hold, homeschool my child. I've got to entertain my child. You know, and, and it of is course. a big thing. So what, what advice would you give somebody? I wouldn't, because being a parent myself as well, it's been difficult for me. Um, and to be honest with you, I've got patience for everybody else's children. But with mine, it's just slightly different. You know, when you're caring for other people's children, it's different to your own. Um, but one thing I would, I've taken from this is, don't think that you've set a timetable. A lot of parents were setting timetables and, you know, writing things down in the beginning, saying, we're going to do it like this, this, this. I, I say just go with the flow and go with the children and go with their boys as well, because at the end of the day, you can't really force them. You don't want to push them into something which you have not much control of, you know. It's, it, it's very easy to, for you to sit them down and say, all right, look, we need to do some numbers today. We need to do this. And at the end of the day, I, I took my kids for a walk. We did tree rubbings. We did all kinds of things when it came to nat comes to nature, you know, we utilized our environment and, you know, incorporated that into the learning as opposed to just sitting down with books and doing maths and English and things like that. It, it, we just did everything and it's about having fun. I don't think you should be as strict because the routine is going to be totally different for them. 
you know they do yeah. say um if a child is to be homeschooled there is a maximum of of hours they would do so it's actually shorter than being in school as it is so you know don't push them just just try and just have fun at the same time as, as well as learning that's 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 really good advice and talking about your family i know that family family is very very important to you i know that you're a very family oriented person and i think that came across in the facebook live that you did yeah you know <laughs> you guys were so close i mean it was just yeah. really it was wonderful to watch really that everyone you know it was, you. it was really great it really was that's uh, my crew. I, I have I have an image of being in your house where everyone's just sitting around singing all the time and just laughing. That's right. Off. <laughs> You've got it in one, Craig. That's awesome. That's brilliant. So here's a question for you. Um, you've been doing obviously you've been working in the NSK for a while now, and you've done lots of different parties. I know you've done unicorn parties and Apple Freeze and Comfortable Discos oh, yeah. and a whole bunch of different stuff. Yeah. What is your favourite party to do? Do you have a particular favourite part, type of party to do? I think the hassle-free, I like being able to do, I like being able to do the magic show in the beginning. I love all yeah. of that because I think it breaks up the party really nicely. The children have a nice break and then I can just shake as much legs as I want in the after bit. Um, I wear myself out when I try and do the, the dancing in the beginning. Um, because by the end of the party I'm flat out you know but at the same time yeah. I love all the parties equally to be fair but I think yeah hassle free is, is one is my favorite and what advice would you give a parent because a lot of parents ring up and they go oh which package should I choose is that yeah. you know it, you, you got a lot of new parents that are booking entertainment for their child for the first time and they want them to have an amazing birthday party of course. what package would well, so it's two questions one, yeah. is there a particular package you'd recommend for them to go for? And mm -hmm. secondly, is there any advice uh, that you would give them when they're planning their birthday party? From seeing all of these birthday parties that you've actually been an entertainer at and all yeah. your other experience, what advice would you give a parent that wants an awesome party for their child? Well, definitely for the under threes, obviously, tiny tots all the way, um, because mm -hmm. I love doing those little nursery rhymes and stuff with the kids as well. It's really, really fun. Um, yeah. In terms of that hassle-free, hassle-free hats, hats off to them. That is the best package out of all of them because it breaks it up so well and you, you finish off with a bang, really. Um, but in terms of preparing for the party, it's about trusting the entertainer for one because we have that sort of... I, can, I don't have to plan in my head in the sense of, oh, I'm going to do it like this, I'm going to do it like that, because everything's changing, you know, the children are different, each child is different, um, so it's about going to the party, getting the sense, and being able to adapt to every given situation, and I think the parents need to be prepared to change things along the way, because you might think, oh, she loves princesses, and all of that sort of stuff, but then when you actually get to the party, she actually likes superheroes, really, mum, you know, so... Um, <laughs> It's about, you know, trying to really adapt to the child and making sure that they have the best time um, for their birth year. You're absolutely right. I mean, I, uh, I know my daughter, Thea, she literally changes <laughs> her favourite thing. <laughs> Sorry there. Sorry That's about all that. Right. <laughs> That's all right. She, she literally changes her favourite thing on like a daily basis. It's like one day it's like, yeah. oh my God, princess is the most amazing thing ever. And then the next day she's like, I hate princesses. It's superheroes. It's like, what? Yesterday, I love princesses. Where did that come from? <laughs> so yeah, I totally, nice. totally, totally get where you come from. Absolutely. Um, and is there anything you want to achieve in the future? So you, you know, you're a children's entertainer. You, you're an educator. Um, you're, you're a mom, and I know all of that's very important to you. Is there anything that you, you kind of got left on your bucket list that you want to kind of try and do and achieve? I think it's just um, spreading the fun and love around. Um, I want more positivity in our, in our, you know, communities and, you know, just, it's all about the children. The children are our future. And I think people actually underestimate that. They think, oh, they're only kids or whatever. They soak up so much. And I think making the difference to each and every child is really important to me. And um, regardless of whether I'm clowning around or not, you know, they are equally as much important um, to me, regardless of what I'm trying to do here. You know, I may have a, a parent walking into my office and wanted to complain. The, the bottom line is my main, 
you know, goal is to make sure that child is happy. Um, and I think that is one of my main that touches me the most is the fact that anybody who I come in contact with, I'm going to put a smile on their face and, you know, just spread the love, really. <laughs> that's really nice. That, that's, and, and it is so true. And you are right about children. Um, I, I honestly think that the best children's entertainers, the ones that treat the children with, with, with the respect that, you know, they're, yes, they're children, but, yeah. but you know what I'm trying to say. You can, you can, you know, I've seen kids entertainers and they, they, they treat the kids like idiots. You don't want to do yeah, that. You, yeah. know, you want to treat them. No. Yeah. They understand more than you think. <laughs> they really do. And nobody, nobody is in a more unique position to know that than you. You basically spend your entire life one way or another around children. I tell you, I, I, I wake up in the morning, go to the children or I leave my children and then go to new children and then come back to my children. So, um, I, yeah, I'm, I, I call me an expert. <laughs> absolutely. You are absolutely an expert. And I, I suppose I've got one other question for you. Um, mm -hmm. uh, we're, we're finding that a lot of people that are watching these videos are people that have like maybe got some interest in becoming an entertainer or they want to become a kid's entertainer or they want to spend more time working with kids. What advice would you give somebody that wants to become a Get kid's entertainer? Get up and do it. Because, and hmm? if you're get up and do it and if you are um from the london team come on join us all right because we're smashing it right now you guys need to um come and represent us um Absolutely. but yeah most definitely look at the end of the day children like i said they are the future and at the end of the day something like this um i am so proud to be part of non-stop kids and to me something like this has opened our eyes a bit more that you know we need more positive positivity out there and we need to be able to support the children especially if they're not at school um yeah. so jump on board and do it don't hesitate just get on board i love that you are one of the nicest people i know leona you're amazing you oh, are right. absolutely amazing honestly every time i speak to you i kind of just like yay i feel a little bit happy Aww. inside it's so cool honestly it really is um i'm going to now i have mm -hmm. some quick fire questions to ask you um what we've been doing and i know you've watched some entertainment spotlight so i've been uh, i'm going to give you three and a half minutes i've got a timer somewhere here it is i've got a timer so i've got an ipad i'm going to time you i'm going to give you three minutes three and a half okay. minutes to answer right. as many questions as you can and we've got a leaderboard um to see who is the you know the fact who can answer the most questions in in the three and a half minutes and i think the winner currently is david burgess from liverpool but i think that's because he's a scouter he speaks so ridiculously fast. He's like, bub, 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 bub. but I, I think you okay. have the opportunity to bring it back to the London team. So I think that you can no do pressure. That. Kieran had it for a while for the London team and then he lost it. But I think that you can, you can bring it back. So okay. I am going to start my stopwatch. I'm going to ask you a whole bunch of questions. Nothing difficult. Answer them as quickly as you can. And okay. your time starts. Now, uh, if you could buy any type of food right now, what would you buy? Any type a of chicken food. leg. Chicken leg, I like that. What colour is your toothbrush? Purple. If you could be any animal, what would you be and why? A tiger, because I'd like to roar. <sighs> I love it. Um, who's your favourite superhero and why? Superwoman, because we are super women out here love it um who do you admire the most my mum because my mum i could say equally my mum and dad but both my parents because really and truly if, I, if it wasn't for them i wouldn't be here to be fair perfect i knew you that was great um what's your favorite summer activity rounders in the park perfect if a movie was made of your life, what genre would it be and who would play you? Oh man, it would be funky, a bit of funk, a bit of um, rock and roll, um, probably, uh, oh, who would play me? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Beyonce. <laughs> Beyonce, love it, love it. I, I, I'll come back to that in a second. Yeah. Um, I, I'll tell you who I think you remind me of in a second. Okay. Um, uh, uh, okay. Are you a morning or a night person? Morning person. Who's your favourite cartoon character and why? Donald Duck. 
Donald Duck. A little bit. Donald Duck. Wow. Because he made funny noises. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Uh, what's your favorite hobby? Singing, music, anything to do with music, dancing, all of that stuff. Love it. Perfect. Describe yourself in three words. Fun, loving, and tall. <laughs> Love it. Um, this is probably going to be a difficult question for you to answer as you're one of the most positive people I know. Um, what is yeah. one thing that annoys you the most? People breathing down my neck. <laughs> Perfect. So this social distancing thing, not too much of an issue for you. That's good. <laughs> this is amazing for me. This is the best thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> um, what is the strangest thing you've ever eaten? Um... Um, a food with, with a load of garlic, but I can't remember what it's called. I just remember, like, I, I, every time I burped, I could taste it, and it was just awesome. Oh, nasty. <laughs> where, would you, where would you go if you were invisible? Um, I would go and listen to my bosses. <laughs> go, to, go to the meeting room of the, of the people higher up than me, you know? And go and check what they're saying about me. <laughs> Love it. Um, what if you can have one superpower? What superpower would you want? I'd love to be able to just reach for the remote. To be fair, and just just call it and let it come in my hand. So I have to look I for love it. That. <laughs> how how cool would that be? Um, if you could if you could swap lives with somebody for one day and experience their life for one day, who would it be? Um, 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 Beyonce, that would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Um, and finally, um, last question: What is the most interesting thing you have in your purse? The most interesting thing I have on my bank card, because you know what? Without <laughs> that, I wouldn't wouldn't there be no life. I love that. Absolutely love that. Boom, I think you did really good there. Yes, Beyonce, I can see the Beyonce thing, but you know who you remind me of in many ways? <laughs> Be Not nice, in Craig. Terms of the fact that you're very funny, you're very quirky, you're very positive, yeah. you, 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 you like singing, somebody who is one of my favorite actresses of all time. You remind me a little bit of Whoopi Goldberg. <gasps> yeah, she's cool. She is Sister Act, Sister Act 2, Whoopi Goldberg. I song. love that film. Do you know what? I, I don't even actually take offence to that. I was a bit shocked when you said Whoopi Goldberg. I wasn't expecting that at all, to be fair. Not However, now, she's quite old now, but I just in terms Craig. of you, you like singing. She's, she's really old now, Craig. Yeah, so I'm talking about when she was younger. Yeah. <laughs> when, when she was a lot younger, yeah. like when she was a lot younger. Seriously, because you're so uh, you're so quirky and you're so positive and you're so fun, and it kind of comes out in the same way. And you like singing, and she's an amazing singer. And a lot of people don't think I love it, but then you think sister. Well, no, they sister don't. Actress. Exactly, so. I love it. I'll take that, Craig. Thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs> Call me now, Leona. Whoopee! <laughs> whoopee! She's yeah. she's seriously she's one of my favourite actresses. I love Lovely. her. I think she's amazing. <laughs> A, I'm a huge Whoopi Goldberg fan, so there you go. That's my secret confession. Amazing. Um, Thanks. I've just looked her up. She's 65 now. My God. Thanks. Thanks. Let's not, uh, let's not press on that because um, we're talking I'm, about. I was yeah. talking that when she was yeah. way back. Yeah, yeah. Like when she was no, doubt, no doubt. No doubt. No <laughs> um, doubt. So one last thing. One final thing. Um, oh yeah. Can you, I'm asking everyone to do this. Can you do an impression? You don't have to. Anybody you want to do. Is there somebody, and however bad your impression might be, it's not going to be as bad as Kieran trying to do Donald Trump. That was terrible. Um, there's no one that can be worse than Kieran. Right, you ready for this? Because you just ready. should be able to guess straight away. I'm ready. We must immediately just beat this thing. We must immediately beat this thing. Ah. We must immediately beat this thing. I love it. You know who it is. Oh yes, Mr. Mr. Prime Minister. 
That was really good. Oh, yes. Our that good old great. Prime Minister. <laughs> Stay home. Protect the NHS. Save lives. Oh, yes. Save lives. Save lives. Yes. That Don't do great. it better than me, Craig. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought you were absolutely awesome, Leona. I knew this would be a oh, funny Oh, it's been amazing. Interview. And it really was. Look, um, do you want to impart, but, but just before we go and we wrap things up, have you got one last piece of advice for everybody that's watching this? One last Leona piece of, one pearl of wisdom that you can share with everybody watching this? I'd like everybody out there, we've all suffered, we've all been through losses and we've all been through such a strange last few months. And one thing I will stress to you is keep smiling and stay positive because on the other side, we, we can overcome anything after this. I love that. I absolutely, I wouldn't have expected anything less from you. Uh, no, of course been, not. <laughs> uh, it has been an absolute pleasure having you on Entertainer Spotlight. Um, Thank you Leona's for having me, Craig. Amazing. You're amazing. You can check Leona out on our, uh, on our website and you can read all about her. And if you want her to come and do your party, uh, that's absolutely fine. As long as you're in the London area, that's where she's based, South London. That's right. Yeah, she's not going to go up to <laughs> Manchester for you, but if you're in South London, there's no. a chance that you might, you might, there's a chance you might get Leona. I'll be there. But absolutely. Leona, it's been an absolute pleasure. Guys, don't forget, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and you can follow us on Facebook. We put videos up every single day, six videos up a day. Um, but uh, one more time, Leona, thank you so much. And um, No yeah. problem. You're amazing, Craig. I love it. I love everything about it. And keep, keep doing what you're doing, man. It's really good. Amazing. Guys, we'll see you soon. Take care. Bye, everybody. Take care. Bye, guys. <laughs>